the truth about artificial sweeteners and diabetes. Imagine, you crave that decadent slice of chocolate cake, but your blood sugar screams, no. Enter the enigmatic world of artificial sweeteners, promising sweetness without the guilt. But are they miracle weapons or sugary wolves in disguise? Buckle up, diabetes warriors, because we're about to unravel the mysteries of these calorie-free companions. Sugar, the not-so-sweet villain, a staggering 83% of adults with diabetes exceed recommended sugar intake. Yikes! That's where artificial sweeteners step in, boasting zero to minimal calories and a sweetness intensity that makes sugar look like a shy whisper. But before you grab that carton, let's delve into the details. Meet the sweetener squad. Asulfame K. This 200 times sweeter powerhouse is heat stable for your baking adventures. But whispers suggest it might play tricks on your gut microbiome, so proceed with caution. Aspartame. Packing the same 200 times sweeter punch, aspartame easily dissolves in drinks, making it a versatile choice. However, it contains phenylalanine, which needs to be avoided by individuals with PKU. Saccharin. This veteran sweetener boasts 300 to 400 times the sweetness of sugar and is heat stable and affordable. While some report an aftertaste, safety concerns raised in the past have been debunked by science. Sucralose. The 600 times sweeter champion, sucralose is your friend for both cooking and baking. However, some studies suggest it might influence your gut bacteria, so keep that in mind. Stevia. This naturally derived sweetheart is 200 to 300 times sweeter and boasts no aftertaste. But it can be pricier, and some find its taste slightly different. Sweetness isn't the only story. Remember, just like superheroes have their weaknesses, even these sugar substitutes have some drawbacks. Potential side effects. Some people might experience bloating, digestive issues, or headaches with certain sweeteners. It's important to listen to your body and choose wisely. Long-term effects. While generally considered safe, research on the long-term effects of some sweeteners is still ongoing. Safety first. Most of these sweeteners are FDA approved, but remember, every body is unique. Consulting your doctor is crucial to ensure they fit your personal health needs and don't interact with any medications you're taking. The verdict? Artificial sweeteners can be a valuable tool in your diabetes management arsenal, but use them wisely. They're best seen as sweet enhancers, not sugar replacements. Remember, a healthy diet and exercise are the true superheroes in your diabetes journey. Talk to your doctor, find your sweet balance, and enjoy life's sweetness responsibly. Don't forget to like and subscribe.